I'm Kim, the Abundant Traveler, and this is everything you need to do when you're visiting Split Croatia. Thanks so much for stopping back by the channel, and if you're new here, I put out weekly laid-back luxury travel videos inspiring you to buy that plane ticket, get on that yacht, get out there and go. Make sure to hit that subscribe button, it's the red button in the bottom, and ring that notification bell. You don't want to miss an episode. Friends and I spent two nights in Split, Croatia, and we had a fantastic time. I would recommend two nights is probably enough. The Split Airport is about 30 minutes from the Old Town or Diocletian's Palace. It's easy to take a taxi, and currently they have Uber, so it's quite easy. One of the best things to do is to walk along the Riva Boardwalk. It's a beautiful promenade. You get to see the port of Split as well as taste all the delicious restaurants. Make sure to also stay close to the Old Town or Diocletian's Palace in Split. It is well worth staying very, very close. That way you don't have to take a bus in or walk too far to see all the major sites in town. Make sure while you're staying in Split that you go to a traditional restaurant called a Canova. We went to a Michelin noted restaurant called Canova Festivi and had the best waiter and so much fun. We had also my favorite dish that I had the entire trip while I was in Split. There are a couple of stops that you wanna make for sure while you're in Diocletian's Palace. The first is the vestibule. In the vestibule, you will typically find the Dalmatian a cappella groups singing in the middle. It sounds absolutely gorgeous in there. Of course, we went in and we started singing Do Re Mi Fa So La Ti Do, which didn't quite do it justice, but it was a lot of fun. Another place that you definitely want to go see is Jupiter's Palace. It's actually now a church, but it is one of the oldest buildings in the area, and it's well worth going to check that out as well. And if you're a fan of Game of Thrones, you definitely want to go into the shopping area, which is actually underneath Diocletian's Palace that actually used to be the cellar and the sewer, but now it's a bunch of shops, and that's where Khaleesi held her dragons. And the final stop that you want to make in Diocletian's Palace is the Peristyle Plaza. This is a plaza that during the day, every day at 12 noon, they have a reenactment of Roman times and Diocletian and his wife come out. And in the evening, which was my favorite thing to do in the evening, you can sit on the steps around the plaza and then there's a guy playing a little bit of music. He's playing some traditional music as well as some modern day things that we would hear on the radio. As you're sitting on the steps, you can order a glass a wine or a beer and just enjoy the evening. Are you interested in some must-have travel items? Well then go to the description below and click on the 20 must-have travel items that I take on every single trip. One of my favorite things that we did while we were staying in Split is we went on a food tour with Lucy. I'm gonna put the information in the description below. We booked her through Airbnb and she is local and very knowledgeable and an absolute foodie. As I mentioned already in Croatia, they want to feed you. So there is plenty of food to be had during Lucy's food tour. As you wander around town, if you're looking to take a day trip, it's very easy to find an organized tour that will take you almost anywhere in Croatia. You can go to Plitvica, you can go to Kirka, the waterfalls. They'll even take you down to Dubrovnik or anywhere else in the country you'd like to go. Split is on the northern end of Dalmatia and it's one of the best jumping off points for several day trips. We took a trip to Plitvica National Park, which was a blast. So supposedly there's only one highway in Croatia and we can't get lost, but they obviously don't know us. <laughs> or you can go on a yacht for a week and cruise the islands. Okay. That's why we came to Croatia in general, my girlfriends and I. We were on a yacht for a week with 30 other passengers. Mm -hmm. It was the best. Make sure to stay tuned for those videos as well. Split is also an easy place to travel from if you're going to go to some of the islands like Havar, Korčula, or Brač. 
today we're headed into the town of Havar on the island of Havar, which is one of the biggest islands in Dalmatia. I know, of course, I've mentioned this about 16 times already, but I recommend taking a Katerina Line yacht for a week. And that's how you go island hopping. It's a little more glamorous than just taking the ferry. In addition to the delicious food that you can find in the Canovas and other restaurants in Split, you might want to try the Green Market. It's on the far end of the Old Town and it's there every single morning. They have great fruits, vegetables, figs, nuts, and they also have the traditional prosciutto that is made here in Croatia. If you want to try local things, you have to try the Croatian wines. Me personally, I drank mostly white while I was in town. I had Poship and Gert from the island of Korchala, and I had Malvasia. They were rich and decadent and delicious and gorgeous and yummy, yummy, yummy. So you definitely have to try the Croatian wines. If you're a red wine person and you like Zinfandel, then definitely try the Plavitz Mali. Yes, I said that correctly. It's a Plavitz Mali. It's a clone of a grape, never heard of it before, but if you're a Zen drinker, love it's Molly it is. Also, when you come to Split, definitely come to the Cleese Fortress, which was Marine City in the Game of Thrones. It's about $9 to come here. I loved my two days in Split, and I definitely recommend to go to Split when you're in Dalmatia. Diocletian's Palace is one of the best preserved Roman ruins in the world. You gotta go see it. Make sure to stay tuned next week to see our girls' road trip to Plitvica Lakes National Park. I'm Kim, the Abundant Traveler, and I'll see you on the next adventure. And I have no idea what I'm gonna say. Plit, that's Plitvica. Is this better? Let's try this. But they have several potable, potable? Yeah, they have, but, what is it called? I can't remember the name of it, because Stevie. Well, from, if you're planning on to go. Mation. No. I recommend going on a category. I, and very, no. It's our quite um, unlevel.